subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. COVID-19 diabetes and mucormycosis collision between a pandemic and epidemic and a deadly fungal infection. Mucormycosis, commonly known as black fungus in COVID-19 recovered patients, posing a serious threat to the Indian population. The disease has an overall mortality rate of 50% and is believed to be triggered using several steroids according to the frontline physicians. However, people who were already living with uncontrolled diabetes were found to be affected profoundly by mucormycosis. Diabetes is a global epidemic affecting an estimated 382 million people worldwide. The World Health Organization projects that diabetes will be the seventh leading cause of death by 2030. An estimated 4 million people die annually from diabetes complications. According to the latest study titled Mycormycosis in COVID-19, a systematic review of cases reported worldwide and in India involving 101 cases of COVID-19 patients contracting mucormycosis found diabetes mellitus as the single most important risk factors with 80% of patients suffering from it. The study also stated that the global prevalence of mucormycosis is 0.005 to 1.7 per million population. However, in India, this prevalence is 80 times more owing to the country's higher diabetic population. The authors concluded the combination of pre-existing diabetes and injudicious use of corticosteroid in the background of COVID-19 appears to increase mucormycosis. Diabetes and mucormycosis a complex interplay. India has experienced a recent sharp increase in diabetes or pre-diabetes and the prevalence continues to increase. June 2001 study reports data from 17 lakh adults in India from 69 studies that survey conducted from 1972 to 2017. Prevalence of diabetes increased in both rural and urban India from 2.4% and 3.3% in 1972 to 15% and 19% respectively in the year 2015 to 2019. This was independently observed in both genders. The higher prevalence of mucormycosis among people living with uncontrolled diabetes is well studied worldwide. Authors have reported diabetes mellitus as a predisposing factor for mycormycosis in 36% to 88% of cases. A retrospective case series 2005 published in Indian Journal of Ophthalmology analyzed 34 case records of patients with a histopathological diagnosis of rhino or cerebral mycormycosis ROCM in short and found uncontrolled diabetes in 30 of 34 patients, which is 88.2% as the commonest underlying disease, and 16% of 30 diabetics had ketoacidosis, which is 53.3%. A retrospective, non-comparative, interventional analysis of 35 patients of rhino cerebral mucormycosis by A. Bhansali and colleagues reported 29 with type 2 diabetes mellitus and one had secondary diabetes. Nine patients had ROCM as the first clinical manifestation of diabetes. A review by George Petricos and colleagues from the year 2012 states that mucormycosis remains a threat in patients with diabetes mellitus in the Western world. Furthermore, This disease is increasingly recognized in recently developed countries such as India, mainly in patients with uncontrolled diabetes or trauma. COVID-19, diabetes and mucormycosis. Mucormycosis has been increasingly described in patients with COVID-19 and most common in patients living with uncontrolled diabetes. But the epidemiological factors, presentation, 
diagnostic certainty and outcome of such patients are still undergoing research. A latest review in March 2021 by Tenny M. John and colleagues involving 41 COVID-19 associated mycormucosis cases reported the disease was typically seen in patients with diabetes mellitus, that is 94%, especially the ones with poorly uncontrolled, that is 67%, and severe or critical COVID-19, that is 95%. Two case studies of COVID-19 associated mucormycosis from Mumbai and Chandigarh, India respectively reported long-lasting presence of diabetes mellitus in the patients under investigation. Type 2 diabetes, a preventable lifestyle disorder. The diabetes mellitus is a lifelong, most common form of diabetes attributed by genetic predisposition, overweight or obesity, poor diet, smoking, lack of physical activity, and stress. The disease is the single most important risk factor for several communicable and non-communicable diseases. A preventive approach targeting changes in lifestyle is advisable. Dietary changes, that is the second lifestyle modification that is advisable for people living with diabetes. General dietary guidelines to prevent and manage uncontrolled diabetes includes low carbohydrate, higher protein, low trans fat diet. Inclusion of more fiber in form of low starchy green vegetables, fruits, grains, beans, pulses help in preventing the onset of diabetes and prediabetes. Intake of trans fats to be reduced from daily diet. These foods include cake, pastry, biscuits, fried and junk foods. Simple sugar including sugary fruit juices, soda, cold drinks, ice cream, sweets, candy to be avoided as these provide empty calories only. Lean protein, chicken, fish, egg white and vegetable proteins like low fat paneer, soy chunk, tofu, nuts to be included for optimum protein intake. Last but not the least, sound sleep for 7 hours per day. The immune system of people living with diabetes is compromised, making it harder to fight any infection, COVID-19 or associated mucormycosis, just two of them in current time. Pathogens like virus, fungus, bacteria thrive in an environment of elevated blood glucose, progress to disease severity, thus leading to longer recovery period. COVID or no COVID, preventing and or managing uncontrolled diabetes is the gold standard to avoid thousands of health hazards in the present or in the future.